Okay, the next lesson is we're going to put type in a bounding box. Now putting type in a bounding box allows you more control over the placement and how the text wraps. So we're going to open up Photoshop and we are going to create a new Photoshop document. So we go File New or command in and we are going to call this FBLA just like on the bottom of page 29 in the book FBLA FBLA right there Okay, and we are going to make this box 300 by 300 pixels. Make sure it says pixels to the right. 300. On the image, we're going to use a uh, background color. Now, typically what it does is it'll use whatever's the background in your color options right here on your toolbar. So mine's probably going to be white. Anyway, I'm going to press it. Uh, D don't work. Um, I'm going to click OK. See, it, it turned out white because I had white selected. Yeah, because you had, you had pink over here. That's why yours was pink. All right. In the... Um, We're going to create a text bounding box. So click on the text tool or press T, tap in T. And instead of just one click, we're going to click and drag. And we're going to create a bounding box. Click and drag this time. And look what we got here. We got us a, a box where our cursor is in. And we are going to type. Mesquite <laughs> High School. Now, I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to shrink it so it all fits. All the way across. Type Mesquite High School. So I, mine's like size 21 points. And I'm going to type Mesquite, Texas, <laughs> 75149. Hit enter or return. And then the phone number is 972-882-7800. Now we can change the font to our school colors for this information. So you can adjust the uh, size and colors. Like if you want to just make this one part um, black, you could choose black. For Mesquite High School, I want to highlight that. Now it already looks a little maroon, which is our school colors, but the exact color for our school is right here. Uh, for the hexadecimal color, it's 8B0000. Hit return, and that is the Mesquite High School maroon official color. It is. 8B0000. Now let's experiment. Um, you can grab the anchors, which are the corners of the bounding box, and you can change the size of the bounding box. Now, if you make it too uh, small, stuff disappears. 
So make sure everything has room where it belongs. So just experiment with that. And there, there you go. Now you can remember what does holding down Command key do? When when you got one tool selected and you hold down Command, what does it do? Move it. It allows you to get the selection tool, the arrow, and move it. As long as I hold down the Command key, it's a uh, works as the move tool. All right. Now, uh, okay. So we we got the text from Mesquite High School. Some of you are wondering how to change the background again. If you click on background in the layers panel, you can go to your paint bucket, which shares the spot with the gradient tool. Click here to change it to a color you want. And then click with the paint bucket tool and fill. If you don't like it, just hit Command Z, which is undo, and puts it back. That's it. Now save this one as... We'll leave this as a... a Photoshop format and we're going to go to our lesson one folder and save this as school.psd save, save it as school command Z is undo as a zebra click OK alright now